Years ago, when I was pastoring the city of Bradford here, I remember a circus of horrors came to our city. It was a big top. And in the big top, I think there was vampires, werewolves, people in costumes, assimilating, chainsaw, massacre, all kinds of stuff. That was the nature of the appeal of that circus. And I remember being contacted by leaders in the city from other churches asking me, would I encourage our church to march with their churches against the circus of horrors, get it out of our city? And I said, no, I won't. I said, what I will do is gladly march with all your churches against the circus of horrors in our city that will never leave town. The horrors in people's lives that we are reaching into and helping on a daily basis. Why have you never contacted me about those horrors in people's lives? Of course, I was then, you know, marked in the city as a sympathizer, you know, with sin and a soft on sin and not willing to make a stand. All of that went on. But I was being serious. And I say this because as Halloween comes up this weekend, it reminded me of that story. In fact, what I did was I went down to the Circus of Horror showground and I knocked on the caravan door of the leader of the Circus of Horrors who opened the door looking like Alice Cooper. <laughs> He'd just done a show. And I said, you probably heard that they're going to protest against you. The church He said, yeah. He said, yes. I said, I'm a pastor from the city. I haven't come to protest. I've come to invite you all to our church on Sunday if you're still in town. I'll keep a reserve seats for you all. I'd love you all to come and have a different experience and a different memory about church. And he said, wow. He said, we won't be here on Sunday. We leave town in a couple of days. But he said, I want to say to you, he said, you're the only person from a church world that's ever come and been kind to us. And I thought it was worth making the stand I did just for the sake of that, perhaps in his life and and the mention of that to all his staff and team. Halloween's here, eh? And I thought I'd just mention this. It triggered a memory for me, did that. And I think Halloween makes me think of the monsters that haunt us all. Um, the monsters of trauma and loss, the masks that we hide behind, um, the ghouls of regret and shame um, that bother us in life. I think all of that is what Halloween makes me think of. I've never been big into Halloween. I know the kids love it. But uh, each year comes around and I think what a good metaphor it is for suffering in our lives. So perhaps give some thought to the circus of horrors in people's lives close by you at Halloween. and Maybe offer up a prayer for them at this time. Love you guys. Happy Halloween, I guess. (laughs) Cheers.